Utah State will probably be a rebuilding program over the next few years. They have a brand new coaching staff and are coming off a tough 2020 season. This year will be the first step for the program on their journey back to a bowl game and they will have 14 super seniors who could help prepare the younger guys and set the standards under the new coaching staff. But how will that translate to this season? Let's talk about that. We are now almost done with the month of July, meaning we are in prime preview magazine season as the college football season quickly approaches. Over the next two months, I will be previewing every college football team. Yes, all 130. In this episode, I will be looking at Utah State. Utah State went 1-5 last year with their only win coming against New Mexico, beating them 41-27. They returned 64% of their production from last year, which ranks 81st nationally. On offense, they returned 67% of their production, which ranks 75th, and on defense, they returned 61% of their production, which ranks 93rd nationally. They have a brand new head coach in Blake Anderson after Gary Anderson was let go 16 games into his second stint at Utah State. Blake Anderson has a career record of 51-37, coaching at Arkansas State, where he led them to six bowl games in seven years. Offensive coordinator Anthony Tucker spent the last three years at UCF as the running backs coach and was the co-offensive coordinator last year. Offensive coordinator Ephraim Banda comes over from Miami, where he spent the last five years as the Hurricane safety coach and spent the last two years as the co-defensive coordinator. On offense, the Aggies return five starters, and Anderson brings over a fast-paced scheme that should be fun to watch. At quarterback, Jason Shelley beat out Andrew Peasley last year for the starting job. When Shelley was dismissed, Peasley took over the starting role starting the last two games of the season. He threw for 391 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions, while also rushing for 195 yards. Utah State also adds Anderson's former quarterback at Arkansas State, Logan Bonner. Bonner has started 15 career games, throwing for 3,166 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Last year, he threw for 1,863 yards and 18 touchdowns, but spent most of the past spring in a walking boot. He's expected to be the starter for Utah State this year, though. At running back, Devontae Henry Cole and Eli Elian Noah return, and they add Oregon State transfer Calvin Tyler. Jonathan Gentry has 151 total yards, and it's Phil Steele's pick to be the starter this season. Utah State will have a speedy wide receiver unit and has an experienced one, with their top six receivers from last year returning. Devin Tompkin led the team in receiving last year, and they add Arkansas State transfer Brandon Bowling and Nebraska transfer Jamie Nance. On the offensive line, Utah State loses right guard Carter Show and right tackle Andy Koch. They do return a combined 69 starts across the unit. Dimitrik Ali Ifua is the only offensive player returning who earned league honors last year. They had Quizelle White from TCU and Mason Knight from Liberty from the transfer portal. On the defensive side of the ball, Utah State returned six starters. Last year, they gave up an average of 35.2 points per game and 485.3 yards per game of total offense. They will move to a 4-3 front this year with a brand new coaching staff. On the defensive line, all-league defensive end Nick Henninger and defensive tackle Marcus Moore return. They also had four Power 5 transfers in Patrick Joyner from Miami, Jahazi Lee from Georgia Tech, Byron Vaughn from Texas, and Philip Piea from Michigan. The unit has more talent and experience compared to last year. When it comes to linebacker, the Aggies returned six of their top seven players from last year. They add former first team Mountain West, Fresno State, and Arkansas State transfer, Justin Rice, who could be a key player for their success this year. They lose Elijah Shelton and Cash Gilman is expected to move to the striker position. AJ Vong Pachan was honorable mention all Mountain West last year after recording three sacks and 50 tackles and five starts. When it comes to the secondary, the Aggies return all league safety Shaq Bond. They're starting experience across the unit this year. They add Kansas cornerback Kyler Mayberry, Arizona State cornerback transfer Taron Adams, and Hunter Reynolds from Michigan. They also have the 24th best special teams going into the 2021 season, according to Phil Steele. Like I mentioned earlier, they return 14 super seniors and play the 100th toughest schedule this season. Athlon projects them to go 4-8 and 2-6 and in conference, while ESPN projects them to win 5 games. I project them to finish 4-8 and 2-6 and in conference play. I think they head into their bye 1-4 with a win over North Dakota, but losses at Washington State, at Air Force, home to Boise State, and BYU. Out of the bye, I think they lose to UNLV before winning back-to-back-to-back games against Colorado State, Hawaii, and a road game at New Mexico State, before losing their last three games of the season at San Jose State, to Wyoming, 
and at New Mexico. But what do you think? How will Utah State do this season? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the preview series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.